do humans, flies, and worms have in common? More than you might think. In fact, even scientists have been amazed to find that the genes that control early development in fruit flies and humans are essentially identical. And genes associated with heart disease in humans have the same metabolic functions as related genes in yeast. As a result, model organisms like mice have become even more important and relevant to health research. Uh, the mouse is the uh, best uh, mammalian system that we have, uh, another animal that is a mammal like us. And it has uh, several advantages compared to other mammals. Uh, one is a small organism and uh, it has a, a very uh, rapid or relatively rapid uh, cycle. It reproduces rapidly. Uh, gestation in the mouse is only three weeks and after another three weeks the pups are weaned uh, from their mothers and they're able to live as um, youngs and adults. And uh, it is also an organism that has been studied for many, many years by many scientists and so a lot is known about its anatomy and physiology, etc. And so they're, they're, the importance of the mouse for us is that we can combine all this information that has, has been accumulated over the years with the technology that allows us to introduce mutations uh, into the mouse genome. The genes of mice can be manipulated and human disease genes can even be expressed in mice in order to better understand the mechanisms of diseases and how they can be treated or fixed. Uh, we study uh, the effect of mutations that are found in uh, patients, mutations that are uh, known to cause neurologic disease in humans and uh, we want to know what the mechanism uh, by which the mutation causes disease. And so uh, transgenic mouse technology is one of the technologies that allow us to uh, insert a mutation similar to uh, what is found in patients into a different organism, in this case a mouse, and see whether that same change, that same genetic change, causes a phenotype, a um, uh, behavior or a pathology in the mouse that is similar to what is seen in patients. And after doing that, seeing whether there are similar manifestations in a different organism, uh, try to dissect uh, what goes wrong inside the cells. A mouse in which a foreign DNA, also known as a transgene, has been incorporated into its genome is called a transgenic mouse. There are two main ways to create a transgenic mouse. First, a piece of DNA can be injected directly into a fertilized mouse egg using micro-injection equipment like this. The injected DNA can become incorporated into a random location in the genome. In this method, fertilized eggs are collected before the paternal and maternal nuclei have fused. At this stage in development, each nucleus is called a pronucleus. Under the microscope, a sharp micropipette is guided to penetrate the male pronucleus, and the transgene DNA inside the micropipette is injected. These eggs are then implanted into a foster female mouse, and the pups are born three weeks later. Not all pups may have successfully incorporated the transgene. To test which pups have the transgene, a small sample is taken from the tail and analyzed by PCR and gel electrophoresis. In this gel, each laying represents DNA from a different mouse. This DNA band represents a normal gene, present in all lanes. This DNA band 